you search me and you know me when I rest or when I rise. All my thoughts you clearly follow. Keep my deeds before your eyes. All my journeys you have measured long before I speak you hear. You surround me with your wisdom while your guiding hand is near. High and lofty is your knowledge for to wonderful for me. In all worlds I find your presence, from your sight I cannot flee. If I fly above the heavens, Lord, I find you near to me. If I seek the nether shadows, in your presence I will be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Sinners, Christ eleison, Christ eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph more than any of his children because he was the son of his old age. And he had made him a long robe with sleeves. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem, and Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers pasturing the flock at Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dotham. They saw him from a distance, and before he came near to them, they conspired to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes the, this dreamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. Then we shall say that a wild animal has devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard it, 
he delivered him out of their hands by saying, let us not take his life. Reuben said to them, shed no blood. Throw him into this pit here in the wilderness, but lay no hand on him, that he might rescue him out of their hand and restore him to his father. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, the long robe with sleeves that he wore, and they took him and threw him into a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. Then they sat down to eat. And looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels carrying gum, balm, and resin on their way to carry it down to Egypt. Then Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers agreed. When some Midianite traders passed by, they drew Joseph up, lifting him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm 105. The Lord is our God, merciful, mindful of his covenant forever. The Lord is our God, mindful of his covenant forever. The Lord is our God, mindful of his covenant forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. The Lord is our God, mindful of his covenant forever. Glory is his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. The Lord is our God, mindful of his covenant forever. Remember the wonderful works he has done his miracles and the judgments he uttered. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen one. The Lord is our God, mindful of his covenant forever. mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac. The Lord is our God, mindful of his 
this covenant forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God loved the world so much, he gave us his only Son, that all who believe in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus entered the temple and as he was teaching, the chief priests and the Pharisees came to him. Jesus said to them, listen to a parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, The heir, come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? The chief priests and the Pharisees said to Jesus, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realized he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. We see examples of several of the deadly sins in today's readings. In the first reading, we see the brothers of Joseph dealing with this uh, deadly sin of envy. And in the gospel, we see the, uh, the lessees, uh, the tenants of the vineyard, uh, dealing with the uh, deadly sin of greed. And the scribes and Pharisees, in uh, listening to this message, dealing with the sin of pride. These sins uh, can have an effect on all of us, and they're things that we have to struggle with day by day, uh, seeking to open ourselves to God's grace so that we can be virtuous and leave these vices behind. As we continue in this Lenten season, it is a time for us to recognize our weaknesses, uh, the sins that we do struggle with, and to ask the Lord to help us, uh, that we may bit by bit come to recognize our weaknesses and humbly accept them and seek reconciliation and his grace to help us that we may do our best. As we continue in this Mass, we thank the Lord for his merciful love and the fact that in these two readings we also see the image of the Son, uh, the Son who is persecuted uh, and who in the case of the first reading, Joseph, uh, brings redemption to his brothers. 
We thank the Lord for making Jesus our brother through baptism, and we thank the Lord for the redemption that he has given to us. And we ask him to help us to be worthy of it, to bear fruit, fruit that will last. Jesus has assured us that wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he is present in their midst. Confident of God's presence here among us, let us stand and offer to the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Pope and for all of our religious and civil leaders, that they may lead with humility and justice and mercy. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, especially for those troubled areas of our world where there is war and, and persecution. For God's justice and mercy for all, we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves and for all who have been given the gift of faith that we may seek always to bear good fruit, that we may seek to follow the way of Christ. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning, both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to it by a devout way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit, you move human hearts, that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of you. 
Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he took Himself, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on the same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, St. Cyril of Jerusalem, and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. An act of spiritual communion. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion, bow towards the host, in silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. The Body of Christ.
our communion hymn is Let Us Be Bread 6.4 in Celebrate in Song. Let us be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shared like for the world. Let us be wine, love freely poured. Let us be one in the Lord. I am the bread of life broken for all. Eat now and hunger no more. Let us be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shared, life for the world. Let us be be one in the Lord. You are my friends if you keep my commands. No longer servants but friends. Let us be bread blessed by the for the world. Let us be wine, love freely poured. Let us be one in the Lord. See how my people have nothing to eat. Give them is you. Let us be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shared, life for the world. Let us be wine, love freely poured. Let us be
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promise through Christ our Lord. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, Mary, you you always shine shine in our path path as a sign sign of salvation salvation and of hope. We We entrust entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping keeping your faith faith firm. You, salvation salvation of your people, know what we need. We are sure you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Grant your people, O Lord, we pray, health of mind and body, that by constancy in good deeds they may always merit the defense of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is, O God, Our Help in Ages Past, 644 in the Catholic Book of Worship. O God, our help in ages past, 